Hello everyone, I am back with the second video in a series of three videos that I'm doing about my daughter's heart surgery. Uh, if you haven't checked out the first one, you should. Uh, it kind of gives the backstory to these layouts and my approach that I'm taking with them. Uh, that first video was of my daughter's actual surgery day. Uh, this second layout is going to be of her recovery time in the hospital. So what I did was I just went through the pictures that I took and anything that showed progress, I printed out. And I believe these photos are sized at two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I just used my little trimmer to, to cut these squares. And so they're not perfect by any means. And I kind of just fiddle with them until the spacing looks just about right. Uh, I, I knew that I knew that the spacing was gonna not be perfect just, just by the way I, I cut them. I knew they I knew they weren't perfect squares. Um, and I, I kind of talked a little bit about this in in the first video, but I, I kind of wanted to address it again in this one. Um, I classified these photos as, as real photos. Um, they, they tell a part of our story that isn't our most favorite by any means, um, but it's a story that happened and it's a big part of our life. Um, this, you know, this, this was a major <laughs> deal for us, but I kind of, I, I wanted, I wanted to say that I, I took a lot of pictures because I'm a scrapbooker, that's what I do, but I didn't take pictures of anything bad. Um, for instance, she had to get therapy and it was scary for her and it was hard for her and it was sad for us to watch. Um, it just wasn't a good situation all the way around and that was never a time that I brought out my camera. I only brought out my camera during times that I could just document the story. So I, I kind of wanted to say that, no, nothing, didn't take pictures of procedures or, or anything bad. So. Um, so I have three squares that I left blank and I'm bringing out some um, textured cardstock to put in those, um, to put in those spaces. And then I wanted all of these layouts to feel cohesive. So I'm using the same products that I used in my first layout. Um, I took some of the leftover hearts that I had from that first layout and I'm filling in those uh, three squares with those hearts. And um, my, I'm going to pair this layout with a, a 6x12 and I'm, I'm doing my journaling on this side of the layout and I've already typed that up and have that printed out um, right there. And to bring in some elements to that side of the layout, I took this sticker that I had cut off um, from the first layout and I'm going to just place it here on the bottom of my layout. But once I did that, I felt like these two pages didn't really connect and um, I looked through my um, this Dear Lizzie paper pack again and I found two other papers that I thought matched the colors of that sticker better and so once I've replaced two of those hearts I think that this I like the look of this much better um, I think that it it the the brightness of those colors match that sticker a little better so as you can see, I've already stitched around one of these squares because I wanted to see if I would like it. Um, and I did that before I really even started this layout. But how I did that was I just took this We Are Memory Keepers um, foam pad here and I used the markings on this to make my dots and I just am using a needle to do that. And I just poked along the edge of that square. Um, I, I just used a piece of paper to make sure that my line was somewhat straight. My my ruler that I use, it's my daughter loves it. So <laughs> it goes missing quite a bit. And when I clean up her little toy area, I find it. But it only it only stays in my little basket for a little bit before she comes and nabs it again. So um, I are, hardly ever have it when I need it. So once I got all of those holes poked, I'm just using some regular old white embroidery floss and I'm just going to stitch around my, my little square. And I don't, I'm not a sewer, so I don't know the names of these stitches or anything, but it's just a very basic stitch. I'm just wanting to get that line around um, the square. So, um, like I was saying in my last video, I, I've already documented this story in a separate album that has all of her medical related stories in it and I actually took each day and I very you know I documented it very detailedly and I didn't want to repeat all of that information again um, I, I 
I didn't want to, um, you know, tell the same story twice, I guess. So what I do to, what I did to change this layout up a bit was I just wrote a letter to my daughter from the perspective of my take on the surgery and how, um, you know, I thought we were prepared for this surgery because it was her second surgery. We, we had done this before. Um, we went into it feeling, feeling very familiar with the process. But what we learned this time around is no matter how many times we go and do this, that we'll never be prepared um, for the situation. It's, it, it was hard and scary. And um, I kind of wrote about some of those um, some of those feelings I had, but I ended the letter with, with on a on a positive note, I guess. I also talk about um, about the good things that happened there and how blessed we were um, to be at a hospital that was so prepared and so knowledgeable about her um, her condition and um, and just how what a blessing that sh we. You know what what a blessing she was to us and that we were just happy that even though it was hard um, she was with us and we were grateful for that so um, that's how I I approached I approached this layout so once I get that stitched up I just um, trim the back off there and I get my my hearts my hearts back on to these little squares and I love the way these turned out I love that thick stitching around the little squares. Um, I got a new sewing machine, so I thought about using that on this layout, but I'm kind of happy I didn't. I like the thicker stitching that, you know, that, that a hand stitching brings. I um, bring out these buttons and I just, I, I pick through those buttons until I find three that match. I wasn't too concerned about the style. And I decide to stitch these on to the little squares. So I just get a little bit of this adhesive on there just to hold it in place while I stitch it. And then I am actually stitching these buttons on. That way I don't have to worry about if they're gonna fall off or anything. So I just poke little holes in here to so that I know where to um, pop my needle up through. And I forgot to tie a knot, so <laughs> the thread just came right on through. Um, but I just, I just stitch a couple times per button. So once I get uh, the buttons on, I do the other three just like that. I um, decide to use this foam tape to adhere them back down to the layout, just because all of that thread caused some bulkiness to those. And so using this foam tape will um, allow those squares to lay more flat on the, on the paper. So now that all three of them are done, I'm just showing them to you. Like I said, I love the way these turned out. I think they add just enough to the layout um, to get the look I was going for. Like I've said, I want these layouts to be soft and pretty and I want them to focus on the story um, and not the, not the things that I use to tell the story. So once I get that side of the layout done, I um, focus on my journaling. So I just, um, I just tape my journaling to the background paper. And I'm using, the background paper, I'm using that same textured cardstock. Um, and I don't know how well you can tell that in this video, but in person, it's it's really obvious that that cardstock is different than than the um, than the paper that I journaled on. I use a little bit of that polka dot vellum that I had there, and I layer that behind that sticker. And then to add some repetition of elements, I use a button again on this layout, and I just sew it on much like I did on the little squares. You know, with this layout being so photo heavy and so word heavy, I didn't know if I was going. I didn't know if it was going to be my favorite layout that I've ever done. Um, but it ended up, it ended up looking way better than I had thought it would. So I pull out these story stamps from the uh, 
from the Ally Edwards stamp subscription and they're just the get real set and um, I am using a phrase that says here's what's real right now um, and I'm I know I want to put it on this um, right hand side of the layout and I decide to use some hero arts ink um, thought about using the same ink I used on the other side but I don't I use a um, I use uh, the soft cantaloupe it's one of my favorite ink colors I I have it in just that little size and when I run out of that I will definitely be getting um, the the bigger size ink I kind of debate about where to put it but I end up just centering it on top of uh, that journaling so that is the finished layout really simple like I said just focus on the words and the pictures um, and I think it turned out great so uh, we will see you again soon bye bye